Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make this part right here. It's been a while and a lot of technology has changed over uh, since 2015 when I made this. So here we go. Let's open up Autodesk um, Inventor. Since this is the very first time we use it, um, if you go here and click on 2018, that's what we're going to use. I drag this down so that it's just a quick click. All right, we're going to start with a new part and we're going to use inches. So first thing we're going to do is hit Start 2D Sketch, and we're going to put it on the XY plane. I'm going to click on Line, and then I'm going to go right to the middle here, and I'm going to draw the part. I'm not really going to pay attention to dimensions yet. So I'm going up, down, and around. As I bring this down, you'll notice that black line. That means that... Uh, the two parallel lines are now equal in length. I'm going to go back out. Bring it back down. Uh, try and line it up on this black line. Go a little bit skinnier. I don't want to go even with that because I don't want it to be the same. And up and around. Back down. And then, you know, I've got to reconnect it so this green dot shows back up. Okay, I'm going to click on the middle mouse button, which is usually uh, usually rolls, zooms in, zooms out. But if you click it and drag, it then grabs the hand. All right, let's grab the parallel constraint. No, I'm sorry, equals constraint. And let's make sure this line and this line are equal, and they are. Let's get this line and this line equal. Now they are here and here. Kicks us in air. They are equal. All right, that one and that one, this one and this one, and we're good. All right, let's make sure that all of our dimensions are correct according to that drawing right there. So I'm going to start with the longest dimension, and that is going to be 4. I'm going to either hit the front view or double tap your roller button. That'll zoom back out. And then I'm going to make this 0.5. This is 1, I believe. This is 1.5. This is 1. This should be 2. It already kicks us in air because it's already there. So I'm going to hit Control-Z to undo that. Um, this one looks too high, so let me just check my measurement. Yep, it's supposed to be... Double-click on that again. It's supposed to be 0.5. That looks a little better. All right, finish that sketch. I'm going to double-click the center mouse button and hit Extrude. When you click on this... It starts to extrude. We want this to be um, 2.5. We want to click on the side here, and we want to start a new, create a new sketch. Project your geometry. Click on this side. You'll notice it just outlined it for us. I'm going to take the rectangle, make a skinny rectangle, and I'm going to click on the top yellow and make that. Um, Make that uh, 0.75. I'm going to make this 0.25. I'm going to make the width of this um, 1.5. And the distance from here to here, 0.5. Finish that sketch. Hit, hit extrude. Click on this jumps out. I want to change that to 0.75, hit enter, and I believe you're done with your part. So if you hit the home button, you can see it puts it back at the isometric. You can kind of zoom around and see it. And now we finally want to save it. So we need to hit file, save as, and you want to make sure that you have your Google Drive file stream there. If you have not loaded your Google Drive, if you simply hit your Windows button and type Drive, D-R-I-V-E, you want to make sure that you click on Drive File Stream and load that in there. Um, that will save it to your Google Drive. Now, I'm going to 
save this to my drive and I would like you guys if you haven't already to create a folder with your class period on it and call it IED um, so for example first first period introduction to engineering design I'm gonna call this part A and then my initials make sure you hit the save button and show your teacher you're all done Good job.